Which you guys got another video here for you on how to make Gmail your default Windows 10 or Windows 11 email client. So whether you're using Firefox, Chrome, or whether you're using Edge, I'll show you how to set it all up in this video. I'm using Windows 11 here, but it will be the same for Windows 10. So open up the Google Chrome web browser and go up to the three dots on the top right hand side here. And we're going to go down to where it says settings. Click on settings and this will open up this window here. Just going to go up to the top left hand side. And what we're going to go for here is privacy and security. So click on this one here. And then in the middle of the page here under privacy and security, you should see site settings. Click on site settings and you should see in the site settings, we're looking for additional permissions. Go to the drop down arrow and look for handlers inside the handlers area here. You want to make sure that this option is on. So you should see this option here. Once this option's on, when you open up your browser, you'll get a little pop up box that says allow to go through your browser. You need to allow that to go through. OK, so if it's blocked, it won't go through. You need to allow that to go through. Next up, we're going to try the next browser, which is Firefox, just in case you're using Firefox. So go to the top right hand side and hit the burger bar or the three lines and then go down to where it says settings. On the left hand side, we're going to go into general and inside the general pane, we're going to come down in the middle of the area here and look for files and applications. So look inside the applications area here. You should see your mail client here it should be set to default. But if you want it on uh, Google Mail, choose Google Mail or Yahoo Mail or whatever it is you're setting yours up for. But that needs to be selected on there. And once that's done, you're pretty much good to go in that browser there. Moving on to Microsoft Edge, go up to the top right hand side and hit settings here. Open up the settings pane on the left hand side here. We're going to go to cookies and site permissions. So click on uh, cookies and site permissions this one here and in the middle of the page here just going to come down here a little bit until we find the handlers and that should be on if this is not on turn it on and once that's on the browsers are all set ready for google mail or gmail so once that's done we're going to go over to the next step so go down to the start button here and we're going to go to settings. Once we hit settings, this will open up the settings pane. And from here, we're going to go to apps. Inside apps, we're going to go over to default apps. So click on default apps in the middle here. There it is there. Click on this one. And inside here, this is where your mail uh, client apps are going to be. So we need to make sure that we are going to be setting them up inside here. So first off, you can see email and calendar accounts you can click on here and you should see that it's linked to my outlook account because that's what i use so i'm going to change all these to uh, suit your needs whether it'll be uh, gmail and stuff like that so come back to the app section and then come down and you should see down the bottom here an area which is called mail and up the very top here the dot eml you can see here is set to outlook and this is my email message preference that I'm using here you can click on here and you can see it's set to Outlook you can set it to mail or you can look for another application in the Microsoft Store or you can go to more apps and pull down here and this is where you would select your email client that you want to use so if you want to use Chrome you would go into here and choose Chrome because that's what you're going to be using Gmail so you'd select this here go into here and select Chrome and that would then uh, give you access to your Chrome mail client. So select that and click OK. I'm not going to do that because I am actually using uh, Outlook. But if that's what you would do if you was using uh, Gmail or Chrome for your email client. OK, so let's uh, move on to the next step that you're going to need to do. So we're going to go back here. Once you've got that set up, go back to the start button and then go to settings inside here. Once we're inside here, we're going to go to accounts. We need to click on the account section here. Inside your account section, we are looking for your email accounts. So click on email and accounts. And inside here, you're going to see your email account. I've blurred mine out. 
But what you need to do here, if you don't see your email account there, you can add your email account in by adding a new account. And this is where you would add in your uh, Gmail account inside here or any other account that you're trying to add. So literally click on the add account here. This will open up the add account button and you will then see your Google account. So you just add that in and you can then basically put your details in and basically uh, have access to your Google account from there. So you can also got your additional advanced settings here. If you know how to do this, this is for the more advanced uh, user. You can use all of your details and put them in here, but you would need to know all of the details for setting up the advanced setup there. But that's basically how you can add the accounts for your email in. Pretty straightforward stuff. And that's pretty much it for this video. That's basically how you can add in your Google account or Gmail account to Windows 11 and Windows 10. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.